hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video if you are new here welcome welcome my name is kukuma zivugo i am a youtube content creator i love sharing all things youtube especially since i am an upcoming youtuber i love sharing my journey with other upcoming youtubers so that we basically just go together along this journey so on today's video guys i did ask you on a poll on my youtube studio and i asked what video would you like to see next and you guys voted and you said you would like to see how i film how i edit my videos on filmora and here it is let us get right into it okay guys so as you all know or if you are new you don't know i use filmora 9 to edit all of my videos why i chose it number one it was very cheap comparing to all the other ones that were available in the market number two i find it very easy to use and as a person who's a beginner in terms of editing videos i believe that you will have a very easy time learning how to edit on filmora and especially because i am going to take you through how to do it okay <laughs> okay so what i'm gonna do is i am going to be sharing my screen with you guys so that you guys see everything that i'm gonna be doing everything that i'm gonna be trying to change and chop and cut and all things like that so let me just share my screen okay so right now i have a blank canvas of filmora open so that we start on a clean slate so what i usually do when i'm about to edit my videos is i will take my memory card put it on my computer take all of the footage that i have filmed put it onto a folder and put that folder on my desktop so that it is easier to work with so that when i import on filmora when i go to import i click import and i click import media folder so it is on my desktop and the one that i'm going to be using right now for this video's sake is my filming studio this is a video that i had already posted before and you would have seen it before if you haven't watched it you know what to do go ahead and watch that video so i'm just gonna use those clips and i'm gonna click open and all of that footage will now be transposed or imported onto filmora 9. so once they are all imported the thing that you want to do is take all of the footage and you want to drag it onto the timeline and once you have done that as you can see there's also just the pic some pictures that i took for thumbnails i'm just gonna highlight all of that and i'm gonna delete it so that's the first thing that you can do you can delete stuff and what how you do that is you just go on and click on this little bin um thing here and it's deleted so what you want to do is you always want to make sure that your footage always starts at the beginning of the of the timeline like where this red this red pin is that is where your first clip should be so i'm just gonna drag it onto the beginning of the timeline the first thing that you want to do when we now get into the editing part is you want to do your rough cuts so what are rough cuts rough cuts are basically where you have a whole lot of footage that you have collected it is now on your filmora and you now want to cut chop uh, delete what you don't want so that you are remaining with um, a video that is or clips that is of the length that you want and clips that flow the way that you want so how you want how you see where to cut or where to clip and stuff like that is for me what i usually do is so the first obviously the first cuts would be at the beginning where i start speaking so i don't just put up my camera and i start saying hi guys welcome back to my channel i will start by composing myself and just before it is either i will have a clap at the beginning of that or tempo will be counting me down if i have a clap it's even better because if i have a clap that the microphone takes that and it records it as a very high wave of sound so that i can see when i put it on filmora it will literally show me a high wave of sound as you can see right here this i know for a fact that this first wave of sound is a clap and that's because it is very high and the second one will then be me st starting to speak so i know exactly where to cut when i start cutting so i'm just gonna go right here 
and uh, you can move this pin. This is what you use to cut. And I'm going to put it on the second wave because I know that's where I start speaking. And you're going to click the scissors. And just like that, you have cut it. You now have two different clips. And you want to remove the one that you don't like. And you again press the pin. And that's it. You have started your cutting. Isn't that just easy? And once you have now cut all of the clips that you don't want, and so once I've cut the first part, what I will do is I will just go through the whole footage and I will look at all the parts where there's like dips in my sound. So like right here, I'm just going to make it bigger. Right here, I know for a fact that I was not saying anything. It is either I was still thinking about what I'm going to say or I got distracted, or I was breathing. So I'm just going to make sure that I cut that. So I'm, again, I'm going to move my pin, and I'm going to just click on the scissors, and I'm going to move it again, and I'm going to click all the scissors. And again, the part that I don't want, I'm just going to click on it, and I'm going to click the pin. So what this helps you with is it will cut all of those awkward, awkward pauses, all of those awkward moments where you were not really sure of what to say so that when the viewer watches your video, they just see a nice flowing video as if you know all the things you want to say, as if you don't take breathing breaks, as if you don't take time to think and they just enjoy the video. So now that you're done with all of your rough cuts, you can now get into the interesting parts where all the magic happens, which is the creative editing parts. Okay, so on the creative editing parts, the first thing that you want to get used to or the first thing that you want to do is to know how to add your titles. So titles are a very cool thing to add in term, in, into your videos, especially if you are... Um, if you maybe have an introductory page that has your name, you want to know how to put those titles. If you are editing and you realize that, oh my gosh, I said something that I shouldn't have said or I, I missed something that I should have said, you can just add that as a title. So what you want to do when you get onto your Filmora, you can look at your tax bar right here at the top. It says there's media, there's audio, there's titles, transitions, effects, elements, and split screen. So for me, the ones that I use the most are titles, transitions, and a bit of, uh, of effects. So for titles, you just click on titles and there's literally a lot of titles you can you can choose from. There's titles that could fit your whole page or your whole screen and there's titles that are just small words that you can put wherever. For instance, let me just choose this one right here. You can just take that and you can drag it onto the timeline and you want to put it where you want to have the title added. And when I just click it on it, you can see that it is now added onto my screen and I can delete the words that are there and I can put whatever I want. So I'm just going to put my name and I can also just move this box to where I want it to be in my frame and that is how you add your titles so now that is done let us just remove that and we move on to the second one that you want to use on your creative edits and that is your transitions I believe that transitions are one of the most interesting thing interesting things that you can use as a video editor for me, it is literally one of the things that I enjoy using uh, when I'm editing. But it's mostly when I'm editing my vlogs because for most of my sit-down videos, even though I do cut them, but I don't want to add too many transitions because I just want it to kind of like flow on its own. But with vlogs, it is very good to use transitions because they make your video look cooler and they just make your viewer more interested in whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to click on transitions right here. And for trans so basically transitions is what you want to use to combine two different clips um, and you just make them look cooler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on transitions and you when you go down, you can see there's a whole lot of transitions that you can find. But for me, the one that I really use that I really like is the dissolve transition. So I can just drag it and I put it in between and I put it in between two clips and as you can see, it is right here. Let me just try play it so you, so you can see. 
so that is how a transition works as you can see there was a point where the two different clips were kind of like dissolving into each other as i really do enjoy using it but there's a whole lot of other transitions that other people use and of course when you start editing your own videos on filmora you can choose which ones work for you so now that you know how to add transitions we can move on to the third thing which is your effects so for me i don't really use effects that much so effects will kind of color color correct your video so let me just make an example so i'm just gonna take the september effects and i'm gonna place it somewhere here and you can see the differences on this video so this is the video without the effects i'm just gonna start it here and play it and you will see as the effects comes into play how it looks like so you see uh because this video is already very lit it's it has like bright color on it so that effect makes it look it doesn't look nice and that is what most other people do on their videos so when you see a video and you see like this person always has the same kind of lighting and their video always looks like it's always a nice golden day with a lot of sunshine it's because those people are using color correction and they always have the same type of lighting or not lighting but the same type of color that they add onto their video so that is how you can use your effects so yeah effects are something very cool that you can also use the third thing that i want to show you guys is of course music what is a video without music um so filmora does come with its own own audio uh which is copyright free music that you can use on all of your videos but as i've already said if you have watched my previous videos i don't really use this music i use music from epidemic sound going back to filmora it does have its own audio and you can just go on here and you can see which one you want there's young bright young and bright tender and sentimental rock and you can just choose whatever you want but i'm not really familiarized with the type of songs they do have but it is free music that you can use on all of your youtube videos now i just want to move on to some very cool features that you can use to just spice up your videos even a bit more than what i've already explained and one of those things the one thing that i really really love doing on filmora if you have been watching any of my videos you would have seen this a lot of times and that is um this feature right here which is pen and zoom so pen and zoom is let me just show you where i clicked so you click right here this is a crop this is a cropping icon so when you click on it you find pen and zoom so what pen and zoom does it will is it will zoom your footage while it is moving like it makes it move towards the screen of the viewer a bit more while it is zooming zooming it isn't that cool like that is literally one of my most favorite things to use i love it so much that is just one of those things that you can use to just kind of like zhuzh up your video anyway guys that is all i wanted to share with you today please do tell me if you still have any other questions or if you, there is something that you still want me to cover i'll be more than happy to help you in the comment sections keep those comments coming please guys don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment on this video share it if you want to share it and if you have not subscribed please do subscribe um you will not regret it i promise anyway guys i will see you guys on the next one Mwah. bye Bye.